What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna be driving my golf cart. Yeah. I have a golf cart. I actually paid for it, so it is technically mine. Yeah. Uh it's a Yamaha one. I think it's like from the 1980s or something because it's the older one. And it, because it has grass in it and everything. Before we knew, oh no, we shouldn't use as much gas. So it still has gas in it. And, oh yeah, it still has the golf and stuff in it, like the golf ball holder, the washer. And if we, if we go here and lift up this handle, the engine is underneath the seat. Yeah, it's pretty dusty and it's pretty cold out here today. So I have my, my vest on because it's pretty cold. Colder than I thought it would be anyway. But winter's coming. So, I'll be expected. But yeah, that's what the engine looks like. Oh no, wait. We have the year on the seat. It's a 92 Yamaha. G9. Pretty powerful for a golf cart <laughs> but it's from 92 so it's almost uh, yeah this is what it looks like got your original steering wheel right here got your original pedals right here and you got the warning label telling you all the rules and stuff like that. There used to be cup holders here, but they broke off. I don't know. Uh, but, oh yeah, there used to be a cup holder here, but it broke off, so. Yeah, oh yeah, my car is in front of me and I'm trying not to show the license plate, you know. <laughs> I still have to find the key for that, but yeah. And this is what the engine sounds like. So we're going to take it for a drive real quick because it doesn't have a lot of gas left in it. So I want to make sure it doesn't die outside or something just in case it rains. I want to park it. But yeah, we'll take it for a little drive. It's a bit noisy because the windshield is loose. So don't mind that. This is my golf cart. An interesting fact about it is that it has a tractor battery instead of the original battery because the original died. But we have a tractor battery in it now. And this is like the perfect place to drive a golf cart because like, there's so much space out here. They can just drive around and it's okay because, oh yeah. And I also love the laws to where, hey, it doesn't matter if you have a golf cart or anything. Cause it's like your land so you can do whatever. Which is pretty cool. Well, yeah. My golf cart's a pretty speedy one, as you can see. We're getting around the land pretty quick. That's a lot of power behind it. And it's pretty good motors you can hear. I'm trying to 
keep it in nice condition so it lasts a long time. Ugh. That's a really hilly part right there. Oh yeah, and also, it has enough horsepower to climb our hill, which is amazing. Cause that's really impressive for a golf cart to be able to climb a hill like that. For those of you who've been out here, you have seen how big the hill is. After this round, I'm going to probably park it because I don't want all the gas to get out of it. Otherwise, we'll be stuck out here and then it won't go back in the garage. And yes, I have my own personal garage, which is cool. Yeah, one more round and then I'll park it. Pretty easy to drive. Gotta be careful on this gravel though, because there's a lot of potholes in it. It might ruin the, the frame and the suspension. Ah. Yeah. This was my golf cart. And this was showing you what it's made of, basically. Like I said, it's a pretty powerful golf cart. It's not bad. And it so has the roof, it has the original windshield that it came with. I had to reattach that today. But, oh yeah, and you always have to remember, every time you park it, you got to do the e-brake. Because it says here that, where is it? Oh yeah, set parking brake before leaving vehicle. Yeah. But yeah, you always want to make sure the e-brake is all the way down. So it'll stay in place and stuff like that. Yeah, this is my golf cart. It's a pretty awesome golf cart. We actually took it golfing once. <laughs> it's a, it's it. We took it to its original purpose. But yeah, we took it golfing once. And yeah, this is where I store it. I have a grain bin as a garage. Yeah, they built this for me as a surprise, and I had no idea that they would do... S uh, I had no idea that... Grandpa and Rai Rai would build such a awesome surprise for me, because now I have a place I can store it. Which means when it rains and stuff, it will stay in here and it won't rain on it. Or if it's like a really bad snowstorm, it will be in here all winter. Not getting snowed on. Which is perfect. Since snow is really heavy on this equipment and it can damage it a lot. Since the engine's like right under the seat and not in an actual hood. But yeah, that was my golf cart and I hope you enjoyed it. It's actually pretty fun. It's still in pretty good, good condition. We had to weld the frame a few times because I broke it on a tree stump and I think... Maybe the rough ground. I don't know what else broke it. I think it was just weak to begin with in those places. Because the first time it broke on its own. So I think it was weak or something. So we had a friend of ours weld it. <clears throat> and then I crashed it into a tree stump. 
So we had to re-weld it. Don't worry, everything's fine. The engine's in the seat, so didn't damage anything. But yeah, that's what happened. And I will see you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next video.